Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. Well, hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new assortment of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for the Glow in the Dark series. These are new to the shelf, just released in the United States, exclusive to Target. Australia did receive these before the United States about a couple weeks ago, almost a month, and now they have finally arrived in the US. So I get to review the first set of them, which are these four that you're gonna see today, which are Bone Shaker, Five Alarm, the Twin Mill and Midwest Madness. There is a fifth truck, but so far in both Australia and the US, Podium Crasher is missing from all assortment boxes. So in this review, I will only be covering the four that we have in stores for the entire world basically at this point. Maybe at some point I'll come back to Podium Crasher, but I do apologize for not being able to show you guys Podium Crasher. It happens to actually be my favorite truck out of the assortment. So it is kind of an unfortunate thing here that they aren't releasing this just yet. I don't know why that happens. It happens on many occasions with Mattel where something is planned and announced in a case, but never actually gets shipped out until a future case or a re-release or just kind of appears at a random store like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, for instance. They kind of just appear anywhere after the fact. So for now, Podium Crasher is missing in action. So we are not gonna get a chance to see that today in the review. I will, however, put one photo on screen that we have of it from the original sample photos, but that's about all I have for Podium Crasher today. I also wanna say that this trend with glow in the dark trucks by Hot Wheels Monster Trucks is not just limited to these four or five, I should say, uh, monster trucks that are in the singles packs. They also have released recently an epic loop challenge playset with a race ace that is glow in the dark i have seen that in target i will not be reviewing it but i will begin the truck for my collection and they also have announced recently an unknown named five pack of trucks that have different designs for them uh, i believe there's a motosaurus there's a truck called gungster and a bunch of other things in there with some hot wheels cars so basically a 10 pack i should say of glow in the dark trucks and hot wheels cars so i guess they're taking a new approach here with glow in the dark trucks we have not seen a glow in the dark truck from hot wheels since gravedigger batman and doomsday of the night glow cage series by hot wheels monster jam in 2018. the most recent glow in the dark truck that we have seen out of the entire community was of course my very own ocd meltdown fan inspired truck because i know the market for glow in the dark trucks is absolutely huge but no one has tapped the potential until ocd meltdown and hot wheels has now tapped into that with their corporate might and has made their own glow in the dark series play sets and even a 10 pack coming up so I really do applaud them. Hopefully Spin Master is now watching and Monster Jam is watching this because Glow in the Dark is a huge deal. We have had very few Glow in the Dark trucks over our time period. And this is definitely a huge step up by Mattel, applauding them for that. And hopefully it'll push the Monster Jam brand to do something very similar. I definitely think there's so much potential in the Glow in the Dark field, and I'm glad to see at least one company doing it. So here they are, let's start today's review. We're gonna start with the Midwest Madness. And if you're a little confused as to this truck's name, this is the official name for the Bigfoot casting. So there's the truck, here's the packaging style. It's actually a brand new packaging. If you can see the uh, squared off edges, some sharp edges, they're really nice. I like this new packaging for this long card edition. So these are premium models. They are $5 rather than the typical price point of about $3.99. So there's that. You can also see they have the loops from the Epic Loop Challenge playset in Glow in the Dark in the background. The nighttime sky instead of the daytime typical packaging for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. They have a Glow in the Dark SUV jumping off a ramp also glowing and a brand new logo with a glowing tire, glowing rims and glowing Monster Trucks logo with Glow in the Dark of course right there and a Mattel logo with a nice uh, green outline around it. So they definitely went in depth with their packaging. I do like that as well for this series. Here's the back of the card like you saw earlier. There is the missing truck and the other three that we'll take a look at. And then there's the giant rendering of Midwest Madness. Stats if you wanna read them. And let's unbox it. So the Midwest Madness is number one. It also has a really cool rendering here. And uh, there's that. So let's unbox Midwest Madness from the Glow in the Dark series. I also want to point out that every single packaging is individualized. So you can see this outline of the truck is meant to be the Midwest Madness monster truck. So pretty cool that they have all the packagings different. You'll see them in the other ones as well, that they are different shapes outlining the glowing effect of the truck. So that's how you can tell. So there's that. There's the Midwest Madness and there's the insert uh, box right there. And uh, let's get a good look at this. I'll also show you guys at the end of the video, all of the glow in the dark features in one segment. So 
Here's Midwest Madness, a really cool model. I like how they did these crazy colors. Here's the basic layout of the truck. It has a neon green paint scheme, some nice splatter effect coming down or dripping effect of the stripes. I like that creative detail. Hot Wheels logo, Monstrux logo in the glow dark format. Uh, there's the tailgate there. And here's the same stuff going on this side. The grill and the motor insert are all glow in the dark pieces. So you can see anything that's kind of this whitish color will glow in the dark. It has an orange windshield and the same dripping effect kind of flying backwards for these stripes on the roof and hood. And then it has a, a white glow in the dark roll cage, a black chassis, pink tires, which I don't think until this point has ever been done by Hot Wheels. So nice job on that on their end. And then some blue uh, bead locks over a neon green rim choice. So there is the Midwest Madness. Again, I'll make this glow in the dark in a minute. So let's check out the rest of them so we can get to that feature. Next up is the Twin Mill. So there's the packaging style for Twin Mill. And there's the stats in the back here. There's a lot more detail here on Twin Mill. Let's check it out. Okay, so Twin Mill, like I said, there's the outline of Twin Mill in the glow in the dark effect, so pretty cool. And here's the insert uh, box there with the Twin Mill logo on both sides in the front with the rendering. And here is the Twin Mill itself. So this one has a blue body with some crazy zebra printing and kind of 80s style graphics going on. Super clear graphics. These actually have water slide decals, so they're extremely clear. Not a single bit of graininess on this truck. Really nice to see that happening. And uh, the motor insert here is glow in the dark. You can tell by the color. And the roll cage also, of course, is glow in the dark with a black chassis, neon green tires, yellow bead locks over a red orange rim choice. So Twin Mill is looking really nice out of this assortment. I like this color and I like the graphics, how clear they are. So there's Twin Mill on to the next truck unboxing. And next up is the Five Alarm. So Five Alarm is getting a release out of this set. And here are the stats on the back here with the rendering. And uh, let's check it out. And there's the actual outline of Five Alarm and the insert box there for it. And there is the truck. So it has a very, very bright fluorescent orange color. Uh, you guys can't tell. It's actually like a peach color in real life. It is so bright. My camera is not picking it up correctly. Uh, you guys will see it in person if you guys find these in stores. It's a bright, bright fluorescent peach color. And uh, there are the graphics there. So they're crazy cool colors, uh, blue, yellow, and purple. Uh, right there on the side with that uh, logo there for the Hot Wheels Fire team. And uh, there's the roof there with uh, the different graphics on there. And the 68 over the Hot Wheels logo for Hot Wheels 68. Uh, there's Hot Wheels Monster Truck Fire Department and uh, the tailgate here with 68 and the caution tape with the Hot Wheels logo. And this has the most glow in the dark feature because it has a ladder that glows in the dark. The insert bumpers here are all glow in the dark pieces. And then the roll cage also glows in the dark. So three different pieces that glow in the dark on this truck black roll cage and blue tires with an orange beadlock over a bright, like a yellow orange color. I couldn't really tell you what that color is specifically, but it's definitely not pure orange. It's also not yellow, uh, just in the middle of those two. But there is the five alarm from the glow in the dark series. And the last unboxing before we make these trucks glow in the dark, it is the bone shaker. Of course, they had to have bone shaker in this series. So here is bone shaker. There's the card and there's the uh, back of the box here with the uh, rendering and let's unbox it. All right, so Bone Shaker, there's the uh, outline. You can't really tell it's actually Bone Shaker on that one. So here's the truck, here's the box art inside of the actual placard, and uh, here is Bone Shaker. So nice finish here to this series, although we don't have Podium Crasher, it's a nice finish for this video at least. It has a neon uh, yellow green paint color, very bright in real life as well, also not getting picked up correctly by my camera. A glow in the dark roll cage, glow in the dark motor and skull insert, so pretty cool. It has uh, some nice lightning bolt 80s effects with checkerboard on the roof with a Hot Wheels logo uh, right there, three Hot Wheels logos, a Hot Wheels Monstrux logo, uh, checkered tailgate, and this side, the same thing going on, just reversed. And bright orange tires with a blue beadlock over black rim choice. So very cool trucks, all four of them. Not bad at all. I got to give Hot Wheels credit for the uh, creative side of making these glow in the dark trucks so unique and different. Now let's turn off the lights in the studio and check them out up close. So here they are. Actually, that worked much better than I thought it was going to work because I didn't charge them up yet. Uh, these are the glow in the dark features in their entirety. So we'll start the same way we did with the review. Here is Midwest Madness. If you guys can see, my camera is having a tough time focusing at nighttime, but there is what it looks like with the lights off for Midwest Madness. You can see the motor glowing and uh, the roll cage also glowing on that truck. Then we have uh, the twin mill with the motor insert there glowing and the roll cage. So pretty awesome. And then we have five alarm here. Like I said, the biggest uh, surface area of glow in the dark that we have from this assortment. Super bright too. You can tell by the graphics glowing off of the ladder and uh, you can move that ladder up and down, of course, with all those details there. And then the last one is the bone shaker with that skull. If I can get a zoom on that, 
Um, a little difficult to see, yeah. I'm not gonna get too well of quality at nighttime, but there is Bone Shaker. Let me move these out of the way so you can see it better. There we go. So Bone Shaker. Now I wanna take a black light and actually show you guys what it looks like to light these up under a black light because they do have unique colors uh, that they'll show. So here is the black light demo. Um, I do have residue from the packaging. You can actually see it in my hand because the black light, but uh, here is the bone shaker under a black light. Actually not the most effective one like this one has. You can see the tires are kind of crazy, uh, bright pink from this black light. And then the uh, windshield also glows a cool orange color. And then uh, the twin mill also has a very unique kind of light up color from the tires. And then the five alarm has a really cool effect on the orange peach paint color. Um, it, glows really interestingly. My camera's not picking up fully, but you can see there, it's really cool how that looks. And now that I put the black light on these, they should glow even brighter. So let's turn that back off. And yeah, that, that worked much better. Uh, so there is Glow in the Dark uh, Hot Wheels Monstrux for the first assortment. I don't know if they're gonna do more. I don't know if Ponium Crash is gonna make it to stores. All of that stuff is beyond what I know for Hot Wheels Monstrux, but these are pretty cool. Gotta give them a lot of credit. I love how bright they are. They're super, super bright. Look at these things. So really cool assortment. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. And if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like the video. I appreciate all the support. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Ryan or Monster Moose CD, signing out.